It's June 20th, 2021. It's Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals between the 1st seed 76ers and the 5th seed Atlanta Hawks. While this series has been much more competitive than expected, most fans believe the 76ers would come out on top. Led by NBA All-Star and MVP runner-up Joel Embiid, solid scoring options in Tobias Harris and Seth Curry, and of course, his young co-star, Ben Simmons. Simmons was a three-time All-Star, a Rookie of the Year winner, and looked poised to lead the Sixers to their first conference finals in 20 years. And then, this happened. Ben Simmons' abrupt fall from grace is one of the most baffling player declines in basketball history. He went from a top 15 player in the league to the laughingstock of the entire NBA. The impact of his Game 7 performance against the Hawks was not only the catalyst for his career downfall, but it may have also changed the entire trajectory of the NBA. Ben Simmons was touted as a generational prospect coming out of high school. Originally from Melbourne, Australia, Simmons moved to the US in his sophomore year to Montverde Academy. In his three years with the team, Simmons led them to three straight national tournament finals, was named the Naismith Prep Player of the Year, and was selected to compete as a starter in the McDonald's All-American game. Simmons was listed as the number one player in the nation by ESPN heading into college. Ben committed to LSU where he had a relatively underwhelming college season. He put up decent stats, but his team underperformed, failing to make it to the NCAA tournament. Simmons' attitude and motivation for basketball were questioned by many NBA analysts, raising some concerns for how he'd perform on the big stage. But despite the doubt, Simmons declared for the 2016 NBA draft where he was selected first overall by Brett Brown and the Philadelphia 76ers. Simmons looked solid in summer league and in training camp, but rolled his ankle in the final practice before preseason. Unfortunately, his injury took a very long time to heal, and Simmons was forced to miss the entire season thanks to a broken foot. He made his NBA debut a year later in 2017 with more doubts about his fitness level and scoring abilities after such a long time away from basketball. But Simmons proved his critics wrong and put up a stellar rookie season. He put up 16 points, eight rebounds, and eight assists while leading his team to their first playoff series victory in six years. Simmons' game fit perfectly into the new era of positionless basketball. He's a lean six foot 10 with the athleticism of a power forward but the skills of a point guard. His elite playmaking, court vision, and basketball IQ let him control the pace of the game and set his teammates up on fast breaks. Simmons was also incredibly versatile on the defensive end, with the ability to guard all five positions at the elite level. Simmons continued to improve his game over the next few years, reaching three straight All-Star games and cementing his place as one of the best young stars in the league. And in 2021, it seemed like Philadelphia finally put the pieces together. Superstar center Joel Embiid had a career year, and Simmons finished runner-up for Defensive Player of the Year. The team finished with the best record in the Eastern Conference, and looked poised to make a deep playoff run. But unfortunately for Simmons, what was supposed to be a shining moment for him in the 76ers, turned into one of the worst playoff stretches by a player in NBA history. Ben Simmons looked sharp in most aspects of his game in the first round of the playoffs. His defense and playmaking looked solid, but there was one glaring weakness in his game, his shooting. Simmons is known to be one of the worst outside shooters in the league, making only five three-pointers ever in his career and rarely taking any shots that aren't five feet from the basket. But his confidence from the free throw line started to fall apart as well. Simmons went from 61% to an atrocious 35% free throw shooter in the playoffs, 
and despite the Sixers easily dispatching the Wizards in the first round, these shooting woes would continue to haunt Simmons against the Hawks. Despite being heavy favorites, the Sixers dropped Game 1 at home to the 5th seeded Atlanta Hawks, and although Simmons was a perfect 7 for 7 from the field, he shot just 30% from the free throw line, including some key misses down the stretch. It was clear Ben's confidence was gone, as he didn't trust his jump shot, and was too scared of getting fouled to get aggressive down low. And to make things worse, Ben's team seemed to be losing confidence in him as well. His minutes played continued to drop throughout the series, eventually getting benched for the entire fourth quarter in a pivotal game six on the road. He attempted zero shots in the fourth quarters of games four and five, as the Sixers blew 18 and 26 point leads down the stretch to throw away control of the series. But the real career altering moment for Ben Simmons came in the fourth quarter. Down by two with just minutes left in the game, Simmons posted up on Danilo Gallinari and managed to get by him. But instead of putting away an easy dunk to tie the game, he dished the ball to Matisse Thibel far away from the basket. The announcers and his teammates couldn't believe the decision, and the Sixers went on to lose the game and the series four games to three. And to make things worse, head coach Doc Rivers and star teammate Joel Embiid both turned their back on Simmons in the post-game interview. Doc, you think Ben Simmons can, can still be a point guard for, for a championship team like the one you guys want to become? Yeah, David, I don't know that question or the answer to that right now. I don't know how to say it, uh, but I thought the turning point was just, you know, we had uh, an open shot and, you know, we missed. This moment was the spark of a long and exhausting feud between Ben and the Sixers organization, and it turned out to be the final game he would ever play for the team. In the offseason, Ben Simmons made it clear that he wanted out of Philadelphia. He refused to report to training camp or participate in any drills during practice, claiming that he was dealing with mental health issues. Simmons didn't suit up for any game in the first half of the season until he finally got his wish and was traded to the Brooklyn Nets in a deal for James Harden. But things kept getting worse for Ben Simmons. He threw out his back in March of 2022, preparing for his debut for the Nets and was forced to undergo surgery he made his return the following season, but only played 43 games, as he continued to be plagued by back and knee injuries. In fact, Simmons has only played 65 games over the past four years, and he looks like a shell of his former self. His stat totals are down across the board, and the jump shot he was supposed to develop years ago still hasn't materialized. But regardless of his misfortunate circumstances, all of Simmons' flaws and missteps can be tied back to one thing, his confidence. Simmons just doesn't have the fire inside of him to compete and the determination to improve his game. He's the exact same player he was coming out of college, only now the entire NBA knows his weakness and capitalizes on it every game. And yet, it's still hard not to feel bad for him. When you're constantly getting laughed at and scrutinized for every decision you make, it's difficult not to question your confidence, especially in the big moments. I'm retarded. It takes a strong will not to break under that amount of pressure. And unfortunately, Ben Simmons just doesn't have that in him. At just 28 years old, there's still time for Ben Simmons to reinvent himself on the basketball court. Despite the constant hate from fans, Simmons does have a fantastic skill set that can turn him into a dangerous threat on both ends of the floor. But when you're the star point guard for a championship caliber team, and you're too afraid to score the basketball, who else is there to blame but yourself?